in a few weeks you see guys all these things that we put all over here worked because the deer is not here no more so uh our work is not in vain now look these now this is the time where the bees come and they put in their stuff on it look at that so once the flower falls off that's when the pear comes in. So in a few weeks, all these are gonna turn into little pears. Every single flower is a pear. Every little, you know, ball thing you see, every bud is a flower. Look at that. This thing is bursting with flowers. And once again, let me remind you, this was an alien. It was alien from the back. But once you protect your stuff, they stay coming. I mean, it's not done. And this is going to come in stages because flowers are down here. We got fresh buds that's going up here. These flowers getting ready to open up. Fresh bud flowers. It goes all the way to the top. This was an LA. I mean, check out the trunk of this sucker. I'm just amazed. This is another LA. This guy did not produce any single fruit last year. So this year, it's got quite a few buds all over it. And that is why protection was so necessary and important. Because if you don't, then basically you're planting it for animals. I mean, don't get me wrong. Now. We love deer and all that, but I didn't plant this for deer. Because they say I can't. They're telling me I can't shoot deer and stuff because people are talking about, oh, don't kill the deer. Oh, them little funky deers need to get off my plant. Simple. So there it is. Ta-da. I can't eat you. You can't eat my fruits. <laughs>